Good morning. So, um, happy July 3rd. To me, July represents the month of vacations because that's when our family, we'd pile into our old station wagon where I don't even think they had seat belts yet. This was back in the 60s. And I grew up in Kansas. And so we would drive from Topeka, Kansas, across the whole state and then into Colorado. And we would vacation around Colorado Springs, Denver, Garden of the Gods. If you've ever been to Colorado, you know all those places. Um, and I just remember being so excited when we kind of got toward the edge of western Kansas and we could see the mountains rising up from the Kansas plains. And to me, they always look like dinosaurs. I would just get so excited thinking that we were driving toward the dinosaurs. And then you would just lose that perspective the closer you got and you would see the peaks and the snow and so, surprisingly enough, our devotional today, which is from Johnny again, is about mountains and driving to the mountains. So, I think you'll enjoy this. The verse is, you broaden the path beneath me so that my ankles do not turn. And that's from 2 Samuel twenty-two thirty-seven. When I was a kid, my family once headed to the Rockies for vacation. After we crossed the border from Nebraska into Colorado, I searched the horizon for the first signs of the mountains. Soon I saw them rising off the plain like a craggy, frightening fortress. So she didn't see dinosaurs like I did. We drove a beat up old Dodge truck and I, I worried that we would never make it up to those high peaks. The road from Denver twisted and turned, the engine groaned, Dad kept switching gears all the while keeping a close watch on the temperature gauge. Would we make it to the top? Even if we did, all I could imagine was us being stranded on some mountain spire. Was I in for a surprise when we finally arrived at the summit? As we rounded the last peak of Kenosha Pass, the road sloped out into a high, broad mountain plateau. As far as the eye could see, there was flat grassland with small ranches and cows grazing, we left the prickly spires at the, of the front range behind us and we spent the rest of the time on higher ground of the mountain plateau. That's the Christian life. Our trials appear to be mountainous obstacles looming ahead of us. We see frightening heights from which we could fall, scary ledges from which we could stumble, pinnacles that make our heads spin, and we wonder what's waiting for us at the crest of our trial. But once we arrive, by God's grace, we find we have climbed to a higher plane. And that's what 2 Samuel 22:37 describes. Are you facing a mountainous trial today? It's not as scary as you think. The Lord knows where he's leading you. It's not a dizzying height. You too can live on higher ground. Make me mindful today, Father God, that you are leading me over tough terrain to a broad path. When I feel afraid, help me to picture that wide plateau. So when I was a kid, I don't remember the Kenosha Pass she talks about, but we would always drive up Pikes Peak because at the top of Pikes Peak, there is a place called Santa Claus Land. And it was Christmas all year round. I could sit in Santa's lap and tell him everything I wanted for Christmas. I could bottle feed goats. But I was really young going up this mountain. It was like she described. It was terrifying because you could see over the edge. And I remember making everybody in the car lean in toward the side of the mountain. I was so terrified we were going to fall off the cliff. Um, I think my dad was driving. He was a good driver. I had no reason to fear. But in my little mind, I just couldn't. I just couldn't trust, I couldn't rest, I couldn't relax until we got to Santa Claus land and then all my fear was gone. So that's kind of how it is with God, huh? It's like we're going up these crazy <laughs> hairpin turns and we can't see around the next bend, right? Um, but he's driving, he's the one in control, he's the one that we talked about yesterday with the light. He knows the steps ahead and we just have to trust him with that. So. Let's pray today. And when we get back together, I'd love to hear stories of your vacations. So, Well, Father, we just thank you that you are in the driver's seat as we are on this crazy up and down trail right now where we really don't know what is around the bend. But you do. 
And over and over in these devotions, Lord, we've just been encouraged to fix our eyes on you, to rest in you, to trust you, to know that you have prepared broad spaces for our feet so that we will not stumble. So, Lord, we just hang into your hand and we say your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And just give us a sense of your peace and presence today and let our joy be from the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you soon.